This is example eight from trigonometric function chapter three for class 11th. It says we have to find the value of tan pi by eight. Clearly we do not know the value of tan pi by eight, but we do know the value of tan pi by four. That means twice of this angle, right? Twice of tan pi by eight is tan pi by four. And we know the value of tan pi by four is equal to one. Now we are going to use this identity that is tan 2a is equal to 2 tan a over 1 minus tan square a. Now how is it so? Because if we consider 2a, 2a as pi by 4, then a is going to be what? Half of this that is pi by 8. That is what we are going to apply. So we are going to split this in the identity. So I can write this tan pi by 4 as 2 times tan a and a is clearly pi by 8 over 1 minus tan square pi by 8 and that is equal to 1. Now what we will do here we will consider for, for the simplification we are going to consider this to be y. Let's say I take this as y. Let pi by tan pi by 8 right the whole thing that tan pi by 8 is equal to y, then the equation transform as 2y over 1 minus 1 minus y square. And that is equal to 1 as the RHS. Now, what you can do further, we can, uh, wait a second. Now, if I do cross multiplication, what do we get? We get 2y we get 2y is equal to 1 minus y square. And if you further write in the standard form of a quadratic equation, it's going to be y square plus 2y minus 1 is equal to 0. Now, it cannot be fact, uh, factorized, so we'll be using quadratic formula to find out so the value of y in that case. y is equal to minus b, that means minus 2 plus minus Okay, first of all, I should tell you the identity. So we are going to use this, that is minus b plus minus under root b square minus 4ac over 2a. So this is going to be minus b plus minus under root b square, b square that is 2 square, which is 4, minus 4 into a, clearly a is 1 and c is also, c is minus 1, right? c is minus 1 and a is 1 here. And that divided by 2a, 2 times 1 is 2 only. So we get y is equal to minus 2 plus minus. On simplifying, we are going to get 4. And this is positive 4, right? Because there is a minus over here and another minus here. So this is under root 8. That divided by 2 into 1 is 2. So further, we know that under root uh, 8 is 2 root 2. This is 2 times root 2. That divided by 2. So therefore, if I take 2 as common, 2 as common from here, so these two will get cancelled and in turn we'll get what? Minus 1, I should write it, minus 1 plus minus under root 2. Now we have two values of uh, y here. Now let's see which of them is uh, can be true. So we know that I can write further as this as uh, root 2 plus 1 or or there's two possible values this is uh, no this is root 2 minus 1 right not root 2 plus 1 this is root 2 minus 1 and this is root minus root 2 minus 1 that is minus root 2 minus 1 now this is going to be a negative value right we know that in the first quadrant as we know that this is an acute angle that is tan pi by 8 is an acute angle and all values in the first quadrant right, are positive. Therefore, we need to discard this. This is not possible as it, as it giving a negative value. Further, we know that root 2 is actually 1.414. And that minus 1 is 0 0.414, right? So this is a positive value. So we'll say that this is not possible, the later one. And therefore, the final value of y, which is root 2 minus 1, and replacing y as we as I have taken y as tan pi by 8. So we can say that tan pi by 8 
is equal to root 2 minus 1. That's how we get the value of this. We got tan pi by 8 as root 2 minus 1. 